SSRC has touched down. Inside this small capsule, nearly 250 grams of asteroid rock and soil, tantalizing clues about the origins of life on Earth and beyond. Materials that are contained within this return is going to help us understand very fundamental questions, potentially even where did life come from. The nearly unprecedented sample came from the asteroid Bennu, similar scientists believe to the asteroid that crashed into Earth during the planet's formation. We'll be looking for carbon-bearing minerals, we'll be looking for organics, amino acids, the building blocks of life as well as evidence that there was hydration in the past on Bennu's surface, because all of these things are the sort of materials that were delivered to Earth that helped life flourish here. Three, two, one. The journey to reach Bennu began seven years ago when NASA launched OSIRIS-REx, its seven-year mission. In 2020, the vessel successfully collected the largest sample of an asteroid ever, a high-stakes process made possible with the help of Canadian engineers. Canada developed the instrument that allowed to map the asteroid Bennu on which this uh, uh, spacecraft landed. And uh, it was essential for uh, uh, landing on the right place. A journey billions of kilometers back to Earth was next. And then the tricky part. The capsule was dropped from 100,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface, where it rocketed through the planet's atmosphere before gently parachuting to its intended target, a military base in the Utah desert. It is an absolute wonderful amount that we're going to be able to do uh, work on for decades to come. To put it into perspective, there's going to be groundbreaking discoveries. And because of Canada's key contribution, scientists here will get their own sample of this cosmic specimen. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.